got a request that uh, wanted to know uh, how to do an anatomical M mode on a Volusion or a G machine like S10 and S8. Uh, the, most of the G machines support this uh, uh, feature which I am going to share with you. I deliberately recorded this uh, video in a very slow format so that uh, it's easy for you to understand. But let me tell you what anatomical M mode is. Whenever that's the dictum. I want you to do this. Whenever you see arrhythmia, you are not on an M mode usually. Immediately freeze the button so that then you press P2 to save the clip retro greatly, retrospectively. So retrospective saving can be done once you freeze and press P2. So it will save something like 15, 12, 20 seconds as per the machine settings what you've done. So once you acquired a 2D clip, then what do we do next? So I'm going to show you first, then I would show you on the equipment, give you a demo how to do it. You just select the M mode and see that is the only thing which is actually active right now. Once you are playing a 2D clip, only M mode is active. So just click that M mode then move the cursor you will see the cursors and then you move the cursor to a specific place to get to a position then you rotate the pro the the m mode to uh, have a better contraction first you have a contraction of the ventricles then go to a dual mode that would activate another m mode so take that m mode to the other chamber let's say the atria perform the same sequence again and you rotate you move and to get the best atrial contraction then we have a, a, a cine toggle uh, knob and then you'll see a cine on the side you can toggle this knob rotate the knob to go through the time frame of various beats then you can change chroma and uh, 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 dynamic range so I'll show you on a live demo then you can connect the dots between atria and ventricles for their association so let's let's go one by one what it is now once you have activated M mode now the M mode actually appears on the screen you see the M mode appearing on the screen then you actually move it to the desired direction once you moved it to the desired direction, now you rotate. You see how I am rotating. I am rotating this here just to get a good ventricular contraction. Then you go to a dual mode. That dual mode is displayed here. You go to a dual mode. Then you select a new set of M mode. You repeat the same thing. You are rotating this angle to get the best atrial contraction here in this dual mode. This is a single mode, this is a dual mode. So once you got a good atrial contraction, so then you can actually scroll the cine, right? So now once you got a good contraction of the atria and you want to see the various beats, then that's the knob for rotating. Uh, uh, you rotate and you move in the cine see how the cursor is moving and you can go to various beats and you can go to a place where you found a missing beat or you find an ectopic or some arrhythmia so you can go on that okay so this is how you rotate and go through the the saved then once you've done that you can improve upon the image by pressing chroma so the putting a chroma um, I, I like this one copper and that gives you a very realistic image that improves the quality of uh, the M mode then you can go to main menu of the 2D and when you go to main menu of 2D then you can actually toggle between dynamic range to get a best view whatever actually suits you so once you achieved this image okay now you see the atria are displayed here down and ventricles are displayed the contraction this is the ventricle contraction 
and down was an atrial contraction, right? Then you connect the dots. So by connecting the dot, I mean that this atrial activity can you connect with atrium with ventricle, atrium with ventricle. Yeah, that's what. You connect the atrium with the ventricle, that means it is 1 is to 1 conduction, 1 atrial beat conducting into 1 ventricle beat. The beauty of this technique and what this software has in an GE machine is that you can actually do it on any time later in life. You can do it on a saved 2D clip, color Doppler clip. You can do that on a volume. You can actually send that across to any of your colleagues or friends to share or to learn uh, from their experience. So this is a wonderful technique. I hope I am able to give you a good uh, overview. Any questions, please write on the comments and I will be able to answer your questions. Thank you very much for viewing this.